Hi, good evening to each and everyone. So guys, uh, good evening. It's around 8.15 in the evening here in Marikina City, Philippines. Uh, I'd like to demonstrate how the alkaline logo fuel system works. But before that, I'd like to greet to a batch me, a friend from a Palawan city, Puerto Princesa. Uh, no, I mean Palawan, Puerto Princesa. Uh, to engineer Ulysses Concebido and to her wife, Miss Ruth Concebido, for a warm welcome to their house. For, uh, there's uh, some food, uh, fresh seafoods that we eat there. Uh, you're giving us your time to us, and we are really appreciate everything that you have done to us. Thank you for your time and God bless. Um, like also to get a friend from uh, from the Central College of the Philippines, uh, Santa Mesa, Philippines, Central College of the Philippines, here in Santa Mesa, Philippines, uh, to my friend uh, Raul. And uh, uh, my batchmate from 1995. Okay, uh, I'd like also to thank to my friend from React Philippines uh, from Radio Merge Assistance Communication team to engineer, chemical engineer Erlindo Villa. Uh, thanks for giving uh, me a time for to find uh, some, uh, you know, uh, 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 to find the chemistry and uh, some kind of uh, where to find some, where to find some uh, to buy those uh, uh, potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide. Okay, we don't have much time, if, uh, so I'd like to demonstrate how the two system works. And uh, here it is. You can see that it's already bubbling up. That is hydrogen. You can see that there is two cylinders here. The other one is filled with distilled water. The other tank is a close. But he was thinking that it was empty. No, it was hydrogen gas. And the bubbles that you can see is from from the other tank. And that is hydrogen which symbolizes H2 and the other one tank is oxygen what was connected to fuel is alkaline fuel and is also connected to the other fuel cell fuel cell okay so how these things work uh, in the fuel cell there is a component there is uh, two electrodes which is platinum and separated by this liquid sheet as the separator as a separator so it's bubbling up and if you say we have already like the hydrogen is already full so you can see the bubbles right now okay uh, this solar panel is from my friend from Palawan Perfect to engineer Ulysses continue but we cannot use this because we have no sunlight we, we are inside in a room inside the room so we had to stop charging this I use a uh, 6 volt charger okay we have now to remove the charger connections okay there is no camera trick here so we have to remove everything there so you can see that there's nothing here only the 12 volts motor I used to use 12, 12 volts motor because the current is very high but the voltage is very low where the ohms now is current is inverse proportional to the voltage so you can see that is only two terminal here one from fuel cell and the other is from the motor okay we have now to connect this to operate the motor so you can see that the motor is now running it's very fast it's very constant with speed okay time lapse here around 
stops around 9 minutes and 30 seconds. It depends on, on your tank. The more the hydrogen tank that you use, the more it will remain the motor running. So you can see that it's very constant and it's very high. It's spinning very quick. There's no camera trick here. In Tagalog, walang daya. Okay. See? This fuel cell, the electrodes are made from nickel. Problem with the nickel that the, the electrodes corrode. It's corroding. Every time I use it, it's corroded. So you can see that the, from here, you can see that the from the hose, it's very quite black because the nickel is corroding. But at the other side, because I use platinum, you can see that. The water from the distilled water or the gas coming from here is very much clear. You can see that's in water. Okay, thank you for watching this video and God bless. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye bye.